you ask what is policy and it's 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 a question that there is no satisfying answer to but it, it's still useful as a device to show the ambiguity of politics and the complexity of policymaking research so uh, to explore ambiguity i like to use a definition that is designed to raise further questions and it might seem very uh, academic, but it helps us come to some kind of common understanding about what we're discussing. So uh, an initial definition that I use is public policy is the sum total of government action from signals of intent to the final outcomes. Now that raises some interesting questions that can help us clarify what policy and policymaking is. The first question is, does government action include what policymakers say they will do as well as what they actually do? You know, are both of these things public policy? The second question is, does it include the effects of a decision as well as the decision itself? And we might ask questions on top of that, like, uh, is that effect even predictable or do these outcomes emerge, you know, despite uh, government's attempt to control them? Then we might ask, what exactly is the government and does it include elected policymakers and unelected policymakers? Are they, are they both part of the government we talk about? Then we might ask, is there a clear boundary between those who make policy in government and those who influence it from the outside or those who deliver it? You know, are, are, they, are some of them in government or not? Or are they all, they're all part of that process? And then finally, we often ask, does public policy include what policymakers do not do? Often the most important parts of policy are the things, the issues that governments don't consider, the things that they would like to ignore and the choices they decide not to make. Then when we, uh, we're trying to explore complexity, we use answers to those kinds of questions to wonder how we can visualize parts of policy processes. But all, almost all policy theories that, uh, that I would talk about suggest that policy making is not simply a centralized process conducted by a small group of people at the center of government. That's an easy thing to conclude. It's harder to say exactly what it is. Uh, the final thing I would say in terms of these definitions is that these uncertainties really matter. And, uh, you know, they're very interesting to academics, but some people also need to simplify their world to conduct research or to act within policymaking. So for academics, you know, when we're thinking of that more practical question, how do you measure policy change, even though you can't fully define it? Uh, well, we have a tendency to focus on uh, asking what kinds of policy instruments do governments use? You know, how much do they regulate? How much do they tax? What do they spend? Uh, do they try and find other, other ways to influence behavior? And then we have lots of different images of policy making that try and replace a very simple idea of a cycle of activity with some sort of kaleidoscope of activity that is much harder to, to, to uh, conceptualize. Mm -hmm.